We are what I lovingly refer to as the barn today, and it's semi-cleaned out, somewhat organized, but I've got some more organization to do. We've got a lot of tools to bring over. I gotta get power over here. I'm gonna be working on that in the next couple of days. Hopefully get that done right now though. I am going to be looking through Jamie's furniture stash. I can't say it's all Jamie's, some of it's mine. I need a mirror for inside the shop in the bathroom. There's no mirror upstairs there. I think I've got some, but I may have buried them all back there. So I do have this mirror that I could clean up. It's been in the barn since we moved from the other shop. I think that it's too wide down below though. I think it's gonna hit the light fixture or I'll have to center it weird on the sink back there. And this goes, this mirror here is a mirror also, but that goes to a vanity that we have that's mostly finished. These are some of the frames Jamie's always talking about. I've got a few here and some over there, but I'm not actually seeing any mirrors. <laughs> so I did find this yellow one. Um, it's not very big, but I might just throw it up in there for now just to get him a mirror in the bathroom until I can do something different. All right, we are in the back of the shop and there is no banister up these stairs still. Lovely tile on the floor. The restroom's nice and clean. We just gotta get this mirror on the wall so they got something they can check the mirror for. I am putting this yellow mirror up here. I'm not gonna worry about any of those holes. We'll eventually get a mirror up here that uh, looks fine. <laughs> Part, partly this is for joke. Oh, now it won't catch. Oh, there we go, it's high. I might need to bring that down some. That's a little too high. All right, we're gonna have to put another hole in there. But. I can't wait to see Jamie's face when she's like, you didn't paint that yellow mirror, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, there we go. One lovely project down. Maybe eventually we'll do a makeover in this, in this bathroom. It has a tub and a shower and it functions, hot water works. You know, I'm grateful for that. It's actually a fairly large bathroom, but Right now it's just functional and that's what I need it to be. It's a little dim in here, we're losing the light. It's late afternoon, about four o'clock. I got tires over there that I can't really move. I don't actually have a vehicle that those fit on right now, but they were a lot of money so I'm keeping them. <laughs> uh, I need to move some of these chairs I think because under these two tables, I gotta do something with those sunflowers. Those are all dried. Um, and that basil's actually dried. I just need to do something with it. I might even just give it to the chickens. But under these tables, there's a bunch of camping gear. And if I can get these cleared out and find something to do with all that stuff, I'll have a big workspace down here on the floor and might even be able to park the tractor in here. So everything is going up there. I might have to move some more chairs. You think we got enough of them hanging here? I can't really come any farther forward because the garage door opens up right there. I think if I put an hour or two towards it, I can get most of this stuff up. We have got a ton of these dried sunflowers and these are heirloom. So I am going to go ahead and keep these seeds. We can eat them. Um, they've just been sitting in here since the fall. They're fine, there's nothing wrong with them. Pop them open and they got great little seeds inside. Bunch of tasty little sunflower seeds just waiting for me to plant them or roast them. One of the two. All right. It doesn't look like much, but this is about half the sunflowers we got. And, you know, quite a bit in there. I think most of these, honestly, I'm just going to go spread them around on the property. Sunflower is a great soil conditioner. They, they use a lot, but they also have a lot of organic matter. So if you're just like mulching them, they're really great to subsidize like soil re water retention and things. In an effort to get more things up off the floor, 
in here. I have these old cabinets that were in the laundry room in the shop. And they were in the way for the shipping and storage of things. They weren't really doing much. And I mostly had stuff that needed to be out here in the barn anyway. So I'm going to attempt ignore the disarray. It's try, we're trying to bring it all together here to hang those right there. We'll see if I can do it by myself. Turns out I was tough enough to get it up there. Now to clean all this stuff up off the bench and get it up top. So I may just be able to get some lights down here. I got those tires moved up there. All the lath is neatly over there. This light was hanging by this chain and it fell down, but it's still plugged in. This, this has no power. It hasn't had power since I purchased the property. It was really kind of just scabbed in here poorly. And I, I got rid of it. But I think this light might still be functional and I can use it underneath that cabinet. Well, this is where we're at. It got dark. The light does work, but only one bulb's working and it's it looks like it's brighter in here than it is. It's actually pretty dark, but you know, progress. We got one light. It's plugged in with an extension cord, but whatever. All right, getting ready to go into the crawl space. There's still some weird random plumbing stuff looks like down there, but the new HVAC line that you see over there might be in my way. <laughs> I don't know if I can crawl through there. I might have to call up Redrick. <laughs> That's what it looks like after being in the crawl space for a second. Oh, I hate crawl spaces. <laughs> and I always forget some sort of tool or something I need as soon as I get out. It was too tight in there to film while I was down there, but I think the wire is almost to the outside from underneath that crawl space. I hope, if not, I'm gonna have to get back down in there. So outside here, I've got a clean out for the sewer. And that sewer line, that drain line runs right through here. I'm assuming that goes off and underneath over there. But here's my wire. And you can see that they uh, did a good job of patching this hole. They just did spray foam and some bricks. So I'm gonna have to come back in. Probably once it's a little warmer, it's a little cold to be doing mortar work or any kind of masonry, but I'll probably just fill that full of cement or something. But gonna run this in conduit all the way to the barn. I wanted to go deeper here, but there's foundation from the uh, the church building that comes way out underneath here. So I think that's about as deep as I'm gonna get, but it should be okay right up here against the building in this conduit. Hopefully that doesn't get bound up in there. I've got it kind of uncoiled. So hopefully it'll pull out nice and easy. We'll see. I was hurrying, so I forgot to film it, but we got conduit running all through here. I'm gonna have to mortar this ugly little hole here and stop that up so it keeps the weather and keeps that from eroding into my foundation. You can already see, I probably need to come back and repoint these bricks. Uh, something water damage or something's happening here on this first layer of bricks. But got it all buried back up and we come into the barn right here into this box. This used to be a box they had a hot tub out here on the chicken coop pad, but now, uh, now it's my box in. <laughs> Got the boys over here helping. Redrick is picking up all the little tools and nuts and screws and all the things we find that we want to keep off the floor as we start sweeping up. And Jack is out here. Jack is rolling for the walnuts. You may have to rake some of those leaves up but he's, he's finding the walnuts. Look at that, you got a whole thing full there. That's working pretty good. This is my second load. Granddad sent that out to me. Where are you putting the ones you scoop up? What? Yeah, Grandma and Granddad sent that to me for Christmas. It's gonna save your back. Because <laughs> hand picking up these would be annoying. Yeah, we got some cleaning up out here to do too. Winter's been hard on us. All right, I'm gonna feed you a bunch. Keep, yeah? keep pulling it over the top of that 
that cross member up there. Okay, we gotta go all the way over the top of the threshold here. Pull it down and push it down right over there on the other side of the wood once we're over the barn door. Okay. Just make sure it's over the top of all the rafters and the cross members. Okay. Because we're going to have to come up and nail it down. Where do you want this? I think it's past the door. Let's look. Down. Okay. Keep coming. Keep coming. Let me, do you need me to fix that real quick? No, keep coming. There you go. All right, I got it. Just feed it to me. Okay. Just push oh. it. Is it. Where's it stuck at? On oh. the ladder. I need more wire. <laughs> All right, that pull. You pull up there, and then I'll feed it back down. Feed it. Dad, keep pulling it up. Okay. okay. All right, I think we're good there. Okay, I'll nail it down on this side, and then I'll hand you the hammer. It's the kind of shenanigans I'm dealing with. They found a big old block of ice in a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> so this looks like it's kind of piled up, but it's fairly organized. There's just a couple things that are over here that I need to move over. Uh, namely, this sink is coming over. My lathe has been hiding out under here collecting dust. The CNC hasn't been used so long. It's got dust all over it. And my bandsaw, and probably this kiln. I'll probably take that over too. Uh, but once I get all this moved out, then I can start working on these shelves a little more. I might even move a set of these shelves over. That's long-term storage stuff up there that I use occasionally, but not often enough that I need to keep it here. So I need to make a place for that. And then this has been getting stacked up. It's been a very long winter. I need to go through like that little pile of stuff. The drawers are fairly organized, but I need to get all that back in the drawers. Jamie is still able to park in here, but we want to clean that out so that I can get the Ranger in here too and get those tools and machines working again because they just make so much mess. Even with dust collection, it's almost impossible to get that all out and and not have it get the car dusty or the whole place all dusty. I know it looks super bad right now, but we're about to really make something out of this. The wood's been organized for a while. Got a bunch of stuff up there. The lights, I've got lights that turn on now and three receptacles. Two of them are bigger breakers. I can run the CNC and my big air compressor. Uh, but right now we're just working on cleaning up this pile of stuff so that I can start bringing some shelves in here that I have. That's a fun five panel door. I did not know we had hiding back here. My helpers came. Jack's on sweeping duty. Redrick is hauling these drywall scraps that I've been hoarding for who knows how long. And they're just gonna go. I just gotta get rid of them at this point. I haven't had a project that I needed those scraps for in three years. I feel like it's worth showing the, uh, the pan of the big mess before everything gets organized. We're getting close to coming back to organization though. Getting close. Right, Redrick? Huh? <laughs> He's like, what? No way. This toolbox was left here in the barn when we we purchased it and it doesn't roll good. None of the drawers work. It's got a bunch of mismatched tools in it. So these? we're just gonna pull the tools out. Those are uh, slag hammers for welding. I only need one, so let's get rid of the other one that the busted handle. So let's just start making a pile of tools and then I'll go through them real quick. We'll decide what's usable, what's broken, and we'll go from there. So all of this stuff, was in this toolbox. It's mostly, I think they had an auto shop in here or a body shop at one point, but we're gonna go through, see what we wanna keep, look at a few things. I'm definitely keeping those jack stands. Those are handy to have. And we'll probably keep, I have a really good socket set. So I don't know if I need to, This like, I don't know why we're saving that. We had these shells just sitting in the basement and they had boxes on them, so I consolidated the cardboard boxes and we're gonna use them to organize this barn a little better. I got three sets of these.
Had a couple of things we had to throw out from the cleanup that have been in there just forever. So we still have a lot of work to do over here, organizing, getting all that stuff in those cupboards. Most of those cupboards are not full or even close to it. Got some room. I can probably park my tractor in here. The only thing I'm worried about is that I think it's, it might be taller than that. <laughs> and we might uh, hit, I'll have to go measure. And these chairs might have to scooch back this way. All right. Lots and lots of room. It actually doesn't look as roomy as it does on video. Everything's a little dusty, a little dingy. Pretty much everything we bring in here is uh, dirty from being in someone else's barn. <laughs> and I put a hefty layer of dust on just about everything with all the woodworking and sawing and sawdust. It's all in here. We need to go through this and decide what we really love. Some of this stuff we've been moving around for a couple of years now from shop to shop and garage to garage, and we just may never get to it. It's dinner time, I'm dusty, I'm dirty, but pretty big space cleared out. Most of this is probably gonna go away. Projects that we need to get serious about doing or going through. This is actually gonna get consolidated down. Some of it's like old construction supplies that from building the house, from renovating the shop, from doing some stuff on the cottage when Harrington moved in back in the day. And it's stuff that I'm gonna keep because it's useful, but I, it can go somewhere where I don't need to get to it every day. And this is all gonna get organized. Most of this is just like tools, nuts, bolts, fasteners, things like that that can go in these cupboards and get organized a little better. I do, comment below, let me know. How do you organize your rakes and tools and stuff without just taking up half the wall? Because I've got a bunch of them. They all do different things. I do have a couple shovels, but we need more than one shovel because we have more than one person that works with a shovel at the same time a lot of times. So let me know. Let me know how you're organizing your tools with minimal wall space. I could probably hang them on the back of the barn door. Maybe fasten them down with some bungees. That might be something. Appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you on the next one. So you didn't see Jamie in this video a lot because A, we've been working outside and it's been pretty cold and that gets her arthritis and joints hurting pretty bad. Jamie's been going in and helping ship as much as she possibly can. We've had a few people that have been sick or out and so we're trying to stay caught up. And so while I'm been cleaning the barn with the boys, she's been shipping out packages as fast as she can. Blood to your cheek. You're gonna hit your arm. Uh oh. Let her back down. I moved my arm and then. Just move your elbow. Show Grandpa the teepee. Let's see if he can get it. Might need to take the draw. Oh! Still a little snow in the shade out here in the property, even though it's been nice and warm. It's 45 today, but it's frozen in the shade here. Climbing the rock wall. We're about two thirds in. Don't cut your hands.